I said dub shine, huh? Go ahead, let it roll. Oh shoot, you tatted up too? You see that tattoo, man? You see that tattoo, brother? Oh shit. Alright, alright, okay, alright. Ah, these 24s or 26s, man? They're 24s. Okay, okay. 24 knocking at your door. Got <laughs> <laughs> it up and move. You want that black to shine. You want that black to shine. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use the spray. Don't be afraid to use the spray. It's good stuff. Right there. Right there, it's good. We buy enough we need to be sponsored by, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Look how pretty that thing looked there, boy. Look how pretty that thing looked there, boy. If you're going out, you may as well go out the right way. Going around that wheel there, boy. It take a lot of spray because you got a big wheel. It take a lot of spray because you got a big wheel. You got big wheels. You want to lose a little bit of spray, get you some 14 inch. <laughs> Don't mess with them 24s. Them 26s. Them 28s. Them 30s. <laughs> Man, if I were y'all, I'm going back to the 17s. <laughs> Shit. This damn spray costs a lot, man. Dub don't give me the damn spray. I gotta buy the spray. Look at him. Look at him. Look how big that 24 with all that rubber on it. Look at that. Just to make that rubber look good. I'm spraying them down. I'm spraying them down. This gonna be my last damn can I buy if Dub don't send me some. <laughs> yes, sir. There it is, right? YouTube fam, this your boy Fripp. That's me, your boy, and the place to be. Back at it live with another video. Y'all seen the thumbnail? Y'all know what's going on. My little niece following me. She want to be in the video, y'all. Say what's up. <laughs> Lexi in the cut, they ain't a pretty sight. <laughs> Yo, so yeah, we back with this another video, man. Today I'm gonna be doing a video of my dad, 2002 Ford F-150. As y'all can see, he got it all cleaned up. I cleaned it up just now, actually, just to do the video. Can we pop the hood? Yeah, go ahead and pop the hood for me. I'm going to have my assistant, Lexi, help me out with the video. She's going to be uh, helping me pop the trunk, the hood, and all that good stuff. So. so that's first start off. Y'all notice the 24s on the truck wrapped in some Delente Desert Storm Tires D8s. As y'all could have saw in my uh, last video, my uncle uh, had the Desert Storm Delentes on his truck too. And it's for Ford F-150 right there. Got the little uh, scoops right there. Got the mirrors right there. It's a 2002 and it still was pretty loaded. I mean, it's a Lariat, so it's got the turn signals on the mirrors right there. 
Chrome handles on the doors. Chrome handles on the doors. She got the dual pipes on with the flow masters on there. She got the chrome back tail lights. And he uses mainly as a work truck, so and it's still pretty clean. It's got a little uh, dents and bruises on it, but it's still clean truck. And also, uh, shout out to one of my followers, uh, well, actually one of my subscribers. Um, he wanted me to do a review on it. Uh, I believe it's Twan the True 34. So shout out to you, man. You got the 4.6 liter with the K&N cold air intake filter. Truck still runs strong. I mean, we done did so many totes and we done pulled so many stuff with this truck and it's still running strong. I mean, no transmission replaces, no motor rebuilds. This oil changes. That's pretty it's much Ford, it. This you heard my sister is a Ford, that's why. <laughs> Let's Chevy, take. Do she said we don't do Chevy, we don't do Dodge. Well, listen to her now, like she drive anything. She drives an Infinity right there. That's crazy. And here's the back. We got the speakers right there. We got the little tweeters right there as well. Go Got the uh, leather seats. Everything's the same color in here too. We got the back window right there that opens up. Got a new fuel pump. He's about to replace that. Got the cup holders right there. Got the amplifiers right there. There you go. Like I said, everything. We got the Lariat in the seats right here. The tweeters right there. The sunroof. Like I said, man, this thing is loaded for 2002, man. It's a nice truck. It's got a little wear and tear on it from in and out. You got to replace. He's going to get all this rewrapped anyway in that uh, in leather. So, like I said, it was a work truck for years. And then how long you had this truck? Since 2002. Oh, you, uh, he had it since 2002. I, like I said, he had it for a long time. So, he got the Kenwood double dash in here set up. Got the switch for the amp to turn the amps off and the speakers off in the back. Got that 100 on the dash with that big 4.6. He done replaced the lights in here too uh, to the LEDs. That's what I'm eventually going to do to my truck. I don't know if I'm going to do with the icy white like he has or I'm going to uh, go back to the blue joints I had in my uh, 07 Maxima. We got the, um, the little escort joint right there too for the police. Um, the text with the police around. I forgot fuzz buster. Yeah, so we got the mirrors right there. Ooh, he got, ooh, ooh, oh my god! We got LEDs in the mirror. God damn! All right, pops. He probably got. Well, he do got him in that right there. He got a little voice recorder right there. That's a little voice recorder. Then you can set up your um. Your garages right there too. You can set up your garages. I was looking for the word, but. You got mail up there, so I'm not going to pull that down. LED all in the doors. Like I said, it's a clean truck, man. Me and my family have been riding in this for years. And like I said, he never replaced nothing too major on it. I mean, like I see in the back is just a fuel pump right now. He has about 250,000 miles on it, I believe. So... I mean, you can't, I mean, when they made these, when Ford made these trucks, I mean, they took their time and made it, man, because, like I said, my dad didn't have to replace nothing major as far as transmissions or uh, alternators or nothing like that. I mean, the truck is still running, like, strong. All he has is a cold air intake on it, like I said. He done sprayed the running boards down. I mean, that even still looks new. He's gonna be replacing the uh, chrome tips. I think he's gonna go with the polish instead of chrome. The chrome, uh, he notices that, you know, we down here in the uh, low country, so there's a lot of salt water. And he be pulling his boat with his truck, so. And he got those two boats over there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but. He got two boats over there. 
and say you, you can see it's rusting out at the bottom but that's that's minor though all you got to do is cut those pipes and then replace them with the polished ones so that's nothing just got the uh cold entry in here and then he and put it the snorkels on the side as well on this side both sides uh mirrors with the turn signal again it's loaded man i like it I actually wanted to get this truck from off him, but uh, he, he didn't want to give it up. He loved the truck too much, so and he didn't put it to fog lights. And then he got um, LEDs and the headlights. Blue in color. Blue in color. Hey, Dad, go ahead and turn them on for me. He about to turn them on right now so y'all can see I believe they're HIDs, right? Uh, see, you got LEDs and the chrome, and then the actual bulb itself is LED. Oh yeah, that's that's right, right there. And the lights themselves, the headlights themselves, got the chrome background in it, so they show real clear. Flashes on for the lights. Yeah. As the the tail lights that we installed, like on my truck, we also did his as well. As y'all can see, it's nice and evened out, man. Y'all can see the lights going out on both ends very evenly, so. Yeah. Like I said, it's got a little bit of wearing tear like this stuff. That stuff is minor, though. I mean, like I said, he was using this truck as a workhorse, man, but look how clean it is. Not everybody work truck looks like this. To show y'all how the stocks look, those are aluminum, I believe. The shiny aluminum OEMs. Just like that, y'all, I'm bringing y'all another lit video. This your boy, Fripp. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. Just, just tap it, just tap it. He's still revving it up down there. He, he trying to get busy on it. <laughs> yeah, he ain't seen that dodge though. But hey, like I said, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think of my daddy truck. Like I said, he used it as a work truck. But uh, like I said, it's, it's legit, man. It's legit. Um, I believe it's a nice truck as a work truck, man. And there again, man, it's your boy again. I'm signing out. Peace. Uh, so you guys can see me. It's dark outside, but I want to show y'all one last thing about my dad's truck. So I'm waiting on him to get the move the grill now so he can show us the back of his tailgate on his truck. So... So what kind of lights you got back here, Dad? What I got, son, is uh, four scripts that I put in here so I can have light in the back of the um, bed of the truck. I put four LED scripts in the back bed of my truck. Plug it up into my cigarette lighter. And if you would like for me to show it to you, son, I'll show you how I did it. You just open up this back door here my seat flips down over here i have a power outlet where you can plug your cigarette lighters in too so i just unplug this one bring it over here to the side where my cigarette lighter plugs into pop it in there and there the lights go in the back of the bed of the truck when i need light Dang, that thing nice and bright too. And that way I can have access to my tools and if I need light, I got light in the back of my bed of my truck. And uh sometimes I go to the drive-in movies and put me an air mattress back here. <laughs> just back up to the movie theater. And you know, you can use your own judgment from there.